Ganesha's trident. And behind door number two. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress. Just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. Let's see what's behind the bow door. Another old fortress. Sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. Last but not least, the axe door. And another old fortress, tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map with an axe. for a call button before climbing up. <clears throat> well, was it worth the climb? And then some. Found the three symbols. Really? Yep. Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for us off. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. Don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait. Was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a solve is... We just need to stay the hell away from him. Hey, Fraser, we've got company up ahead. Let's get a closer look. I say we blow the wall open, see what's inside for ourselves. Asav's expert demanded that the sites be unspoiled. Well, Nayargal, always telling us what we should and shouldn't do. I am tired of picking through the scraps. Justice requires patience and a good deal of money. Yes, that too. Oh, so you're on his side now. I am on the side of logic. Clear. 
Let's see what we've got here. Don't recognize this. It's not one of the three symbols. We should stay focused. Never say no to a chance to make some extra cash. up in there. Interesting. Some kind of Hoysala token. I hope that was productive. Just a token of some kind. Old Hoysala thingy. Think we need it? Need? Probably not. Want? Definitely. understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. How'd you get tangled up with Asav anyway? Purpose? I'd rather not go into it. He certainly seemed to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. Look there. One of Asav's trucks. Looks clear out here. Interesting circular motif. Like the disc. We're definitely in the right place. Hey, look. Shiva's axe. Matches the symbol in the tower. Shiva. It was the god of destruction, right? Yes. But maybe not in the way you're thinking. Not literal destruction, then? That, but also in a more positive sense, like losing the ego, ditching bad habits. Shedding all detachments. Exactly. This should do the trick. Okay. Going, going. Yeah. Let's get inside. What do you suppose this place was? Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. No, 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 no! no! <coughs> you all right, Fraser? <coughs> yep, fine. Come on down. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear. 
I'm sure there's a man here with floppy boots. I'm smaller than most men. I thought we were talking about uh, We are. Hmm? <laughs> one down, one down. Safety's off. Search the area. Oh my. What the hell is this? We'll find out soon enough. Okay, let's see what this does. <sighs> that statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. Get off this thing. Good question. Follow me. Right. Reckon we can cut through the city and get back to the gate. I'll take point. Stay close. Lead the way.
Look at this. They are making progress, Stop. no? Maybe. But check out this watch. Took it from that old man in the city. Dumb bastard. Didn't give it up easily. Right. You take left, yeah, I take I right. Remember. What the? That works too. Nice job. Probably more where that came from. Right. Above you. Nothing personal. There. I'll bet the aqueduct's rooted through that structure. I doubt we're free and clear. Keep an eye out. Ooh. We're not in the line of fire. Well, hopefully there's another way out. What do you suppose that thing on the floor is? Nothing good. See those channels? Doubt they were meant for water. Oh. Sorry. <clears throat> Up here. Think there's a way through. <clears throat> Poor bastards. 
don't know. I'd prefer being left to rot in a cell to getting tortured. Duly noted. I do. Yep, there's the aqueduct. Up here, there's a breach. Shiva. That's impressive. My man worked for a week and turned up nothing. They probably hired the wrong expert. Perhaps. You know. A Hoysala poet once wrote of a young king who showed mercy and thus ended our rituals. But the old kings, they understood that progress demands sacrifice. <laughs> Is that what you tell your men? of war, these aqueducts, they would run red through the capital. Those who would not fight had to be used to inspire those who would. Therefore, Grote would have been Nadine Ross, right? This ex-paramilitary leader of Shoreline. Yeah. I mean, then the personalities are, couldn't be further apart. You have the enigmatic Chloe Fraser, hustler, wheeling, dealing, always backing out when it gets too tough. And right. the pragmatic, militant leader, Nadine Ross. It was perfect. Yeah, I mean, when, you, when I first read that, I was like, oh, wait a minute. Chloe is, like, <laughs> impulsive, and Nadine is so, like, calm and collected. Yeah. I was like, and we're going to talk about teamwork, and they're going to solve this adventure together? Are we sure that's going to work out? Yeah, right. that's it. That's exactly the question. Yeah. Right, right. So another thing we saw in that trailer is you got re revealed who the villain is in the game. And it's somebody that a lot of people might not have known about. I think Die Hard and Carter fans might know who this is. Could you explain who that is, though? The, the villain? The who, villain. Uh, well, the villain's Asav. Asav is this insurgent leader uh, who's basically, you know, creating turmoil in India right now. And he also has entitlement to these lands, at least he thinks he does. Um, he has, there's two factions of the old empire, the old kings and the new king, which was a more progressive king. Uh, and Usman, uh, who plays the character Asav, he's an amazing actor, uh, did a really good job of bringing Asav to life, which is, he believes in the old king. He believes in the purification of this, uh, this establishment and wanting to gain back the... ...on some uh, seed of, you know, history. So the Hoysala Empire, which is a real uh, thing, and we take our, we unchartedify uh, you know, the <laughs> ruins and uh, bring a little, you know, some of the, there's like such a rich cultural history in India and we blow it up to, you know, to 11, uh, you know, these giant statues of Ganesh that you uh, see in the trailer. And um, it, so the setting just is, everything uncharted is there and we have, you know, the, the Jeep is back, Chloe's the best driver in the Hosala Empire. Right, uh, and we did a lot of research for um, to ensure that we, you know, respect the, you know, the religion. There are thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people, if not millions, that still practice uh, Hinduism avidly daily. So we wanted to approach this thing with respect, reverence, but at and the same time, in context of a game. So a lot of these archaeological sites are based on the Hosala people and their empire. And the story of the Tusk of the Nash and how he lost his text 
lost his tusk, which they talk about in the trailer, that kind of thread. Uh, that is like from a real text in, in Hinduism. So there's like, it's we've taken it and made it as the base of our, of our story. Yeah. Right. I really like how you guys always dig in to the intricate history of these settings and of these cultures before you implement them into the games. It's always astounding to me. Uh, so I want to talk a little bit about the fact that this is the first Uncharted expansion, standalone expansion in history. You guys have never really done anything like this. What led you to this point right here? Well, we explored many storylines. After we finished the Nathan Drake story, right. we were done with Nathan Drake. <laughs> we were done. We were done. Oh. We wrapped it up. It broke, her her heart. Heart. broke her heart. Right. Man. My boyfriend's gone. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> no, I'm very excited for this one. Yeah, well, we, we explored many different, because we have such a vast uh, cast to, to pull from. We went down a few different storylines. Uh, we went through the, the Sull Sullivan storyline. Even Cutter came back up. Yeah, um, and we were messing we were around. We talk about that. <laughs> I, we want to talk more about Cutter before yeah. <laughs> we, we, we're going to. Uh, but you know, the, the the Chloe story just kept jumping back out at us. It was, you know, she's such a self-preservationist. She's you know always like bailing out at the last minute. Right. You know, and she was just an intriguing survivor. character. Exactly. She's yeah. A survivor. And uh, we wanted to see how, you know, just putting her up with someone like Nate. And then yeah, so all the DLC they've done, and then we're gonna have some. Lost Legacy content in the future that we'll be talking about soon. That is, <laughs> that is, that is so great. great. Uh, how was it kind of taking this different path as far as narrative goes? You know, you had this wise crack in, very clever, witty, Nathan Drake, and now you have like a completely different personality in the driver's seat. How was it kind of changing gears on that? Uh, I mean, the, we built the game around Chloe. So, yeah. you know, the tone of the game reflects her, her, her state of mind and where she goes, the arc that we're, we're going to be pushing. Uh, it's a little grounded, a little more grounded, uh, maybe even darker at times, but it's still fun, still yeah. has that sense of wonder Chloe, and Chloe in, in, in the end, is a fun character. Yes. Yes. Right. That's why we like her. Yes. Yes. So she fits the Uncharted, you know, the main character being a fun character is an Uncharted thing, so right. it fits right in. Now, I gotta ask, since Chloe is there, does that mean there's gonna be a lot more driving in this one? Because I gotta say, <laughs> in Uncharted 4, I didn't do so well with those driving scenes. <laughs> The trident, the bow and arrow, the axe, the great battle in which Ganesh lost his tusk. We find these symbols. We find the tusk. That's supposed to happen? Don't know. Downtown Halabadoo, last known resting place of the Tusk of Ganesh. I don't like it. You don't like anything. Oh, thank you. I'm slipping. You know that treasure hunting is not at the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. You two, partners. And hello, gorgeous. What a pleasant surprise. You want the tusk? You need my help. A thief? Collector of antiquities. A parasite who exploits our struggle in order to fatten her pockets. So that's a no? Felt like a no. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. You were going to sell me out, weren't you? Or well, history with the Saab made you the obvious choice. <laughs> You lie to my face. Cards on the table. I need your help. And if you want the tusk, you need mine. Because the leopard can't change her spots. You know nothing about me. I'm a casualty of war. Don't! On schedule. 
Should hit land in about an hour. Great. The tusk of Ganesh. No wonder the whole solar capital was ransacked. Look at this thing. Any luck? I don't need luck. I'd say we can use all the luck we can get. Are you still hung up on Asav's so-called expert? Don't worry. If Asav's not in the gets already, he'll be right on our heels. Plus, he's got weapons. Transports hundreds of men. Like I said, don't worry. <gasps> Looks like some kind of key. Maybe. Let's see. Okay. The trident was Ganesh's weapon. The bow and arrow was Parashurama's. And the axe was a gift from Shiva. The great battle. What? battle in which Ganesh lost his tusk. I bet we find these symbols. We find the tusk. Not bad, Fraser. Yeah, well. You like my dad for that. Hindu myths were his thing. It rubbed off. We must be proud. Sun's almost up. I'll go get ready. Nice work. चलो चलो अंदर चलो जल्दी लाइट बंद कर दो मूव 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 लेट्स गो इज इन हियर व्हाट यू डूइंग नाउ हैव डन नथिंग रॉन्ग डैम स्पाइस व्हाट नो शट अप इज लाइंग नो गेट द ट्रक मूव बी स्टूपिड लेडी Look out of here. Go on. Hey, hold on. What's your rush? How do I know you're not smuggling something in here? Arms up. Sir, please, Nagi. It's dangerous to be out so late. Hey. Where do you live? What are you, deaf? Answer him! I said, where do you live? Area J. I'm in the middle of something. It can wait. Uh, yes, sir. Meet me inside. Understood. You, with me. Man the gun. Sir, what about her? Just let her through. You heard him. Get going.
Shit. Come along, friend. Looks like rain again. Yeah. Might clean this place up at least. <laughs> It'll take more than rain for that. Shit. They're getting closer. We should get off the streets. Our shift ends in an hour. I need sleep. You can sleep in the truck. No, thank you. Is that the last of them? Almost. There's a couple more in the alley. Chasing down small trinkets all over India. Join the real fight. This place is a shithole. True, but it was a strategic stronghold. We've done good, brother. Hey, at least there's running water and toilets, right? Fight to the tyrants. Saab says we need more time to prepare. The government thinks we're a joke. You hear that? I won't think that for much I did. longer. Let's check upstairs to be sure. We've been here for weeks. When do we move on? Until we pick this place clear. Every piece helps. Hey, will people see anyone up here? Besides you. Smart ass. Lots of locals have been sneaking back in. No one up here but us. See anything? No. This jump is held together by something. One was the warehouse, the other... You're in the wrong place, girl. What the hell? Got you. Nowhere to run. I thought you were professional. Oh, you should relax. You'll live longer. 